What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide. As always, we are doing the top comments on each video for what Pokemon we'll be covering next in the moveset guide, so be sure to comment down below the one you want me to cover. Uh, but last time, Mabostiff won. This one I always feel, it feels weird like pronouncing it Mabostiff. Mabast, I don't know. Like it, it feels weird, like the, um, the inflection never feels quite right. Mabostiff, you know? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to be covering it today. Uh, it's actually a really interesting Pokemon. It has a lot of decent tools. I don't think it's better than Arcanine in the role that they're both going to play, but uh, there are going to be some situations where I'm sure you can find a place on it uh, or for it on a team. But if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Uh, and yeah, comment down below what you want me to use next time or like make a team around or just cover anything. Just what Pokemon do you, want, do you guys want me to make videos about? That's all I need. Uh, but yeah. Also, you'll notice that a showdown live went up today. Uh, I want to say that I know Showdown Lives are not everyone's cup of tea, but I do highly recommend you watch those videos as those are the videos where you'll get my team building process and like my main thought process when I'm playing because that those are like the videos where I'm testing an idea uh, and they're actually what a lot of people on my channel came for. So if you're new to competitive, highly recommend you check out the Showdown Lives. They're a lot more informative than just straight up battling. So yeah, let's get into it. Mabostiff is a brand new Pokemon in Gen 9, obviously. Uh, and it has some really decent stats, 80 HP, 120 attack, 90 defense, 60 special attack, 70 special defense, and 85 speed. Now, this guy feels like just a better, like, Mighty Anna, uh, and its main competitor, funny enough, despite Arcanine not being a dark type, is going to be Arcanine, as they're both, uh, like, very bulky, intimidate Pokemon with access to Snarl. So... Yeah, like we're going to be sort of using it as an alternative to, uh, to Arcanine, but you'll notice that it'll be far more offensive, less so because it, um, less so because it is a better offensive Pokemon, even though it is with 120 attack, uh, but more because it's lacking support tools. However, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, its abilities are Intimidate, Guard Dog, and Stakeout. Now, Stakeout's going to be amazing in singles. I think Choice Band Stakeout is actually going to be awesome, uh, but Guard Dog and Intimidate are the two that are useful in doubles because they're both Intimidate. Uh, they, they both like circle around Intimidate, you know. Intimidate is Intimidate itself and Guard Dog is an anti-Intimidate. So obviously Intimidate's gonna lower both uh, opponents attack stage by one, but Guard Dog uh, makes you immune to Intimidate and makes it so when you are Intimidated, you get plus one attack and you can't be forced out by a, a Whirlwind, Circle Throw, anything like that. So yeah, it's, it's actually really interesting. We'll be taking advantage of that with our first moveset. Uh, this one is going to be an Assault Vest Attacker. We have Crunch, Snarl, Play Rough, and Ice Fang. You could obviously put Intimidate on this one as well. I don't think it would be that bad, but I think Guard Dog isn't bad if you're just going all out uh, offensive. And you can still throw Snarl on there to reduce damage for your teammates from uh, opposing Pokemon like Fluttermane. Fluttermane is a pretty huge threat to this guy. It's very hard to live a hit uh, from Fluttermane, like Moonblast, you're like almost never taking. Uh, but with the Assault Vest, you just barely hang on with this set. Um, we're running 52 HP, max attack, four defense, four special defense, 196 speed with a Jolly Nature. That's gonna hit that 143, where if uh, you get plus one speed by any other teammate, uh, you're gonna end up uh, outspeeding things like Dragapult. That is like the magic number this gen. Like that, that really is the magic number. Um, but yeah, Crunch is obviously gonna be your main form of stab. Play Rough and Ice Fang are mostly just coverage tools. Play Rough allowing you to hit uh, Dragon types, uh, Fighting types especially are really nice to hit Play Rough with since um, the boss of is weak to those. Um, but also there's that chance for that attack drop on many attackers. So even if you're not running Intimidate, if you go for like a play rough into like a Hariyama, it's probably not going to KO, but uh, you will get an attack drop a lot of the time, or not a lot of the time, like 10% of the time. So like there's that potential. Ice Fang is going to be decent versus Amoongus as not only do you have a, you know, a chance to flinch, but it is super effective. Uh, Garchomp is also going to be like the main target of Ice Fang as it does a really decent amount to it. Uh, and Snarl, yeah, Snarl is just there because you're 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 a snarly guard dog. Uh, if you get intimidated on lead, though, all of these moves become effectively choice band boosted, which is really scary. Uh, but yeah, like if you if they end up leading off with um, if they end up leading off with like Arcanine and Garchomp, which is like not too uncommon of a lead, you get plus one in your attack, and that Garchomp is effectively gone because it won't be able to uh, one shot you for the most part with this thing's bulk, uh, and you'll be able to one shot it back with Ice Fang. But yeah, that's the first moveset. The second moveset, I, it, it's it's more like leaning into that Arcanine territory where it's like super supportive. Uh, but 
Uh, yeah, it's running Citrus Berry, Intimidate, Crunch, Helping Hand, Snarl, and Taunt. We have 36 HP, 120, or sorry, 20 attack, 4 defense, 252 special defense, and 196 speed. So the reason we had to max out the special defense here <clears throat> is because uh, Fluttermane is one of the best Pokemon in the format. Uh, and a lot of them are running Timid Max Speed with like a Life Orb right now. So by having Timid Max Speed Life Orb, uh, if they go for a Dazzling Gleam into many of these sets, it will one-shot, unfortunately. Uh, but if you max out that special defense and give it 36 HP, you're going to be able to hang on uh, with just a little bit of health. And then that Crunch will be doing massive damage to opposing Flutter Mains. Or if you're like intimidated a lot and you can't deal that much damage, a Snarl isn't that bad. Helping Hand is a generally useful tool on a lot of support Pokemon, especially Intimidate Pokemon, since they're a little bit more passive a lot of the time. Uh, it's going to let you... Uh, pro I think this thing's like actually really good next to Scizor. If you want to like helping hand a bullet punch into anything, it's going to start KOing a lot of things. So that's really useful. Uh, helping handing like Choice Specs Muddy Water Pokemon is also quite good. Uh, and Taunt is going to be super useful for stopping Trick Room as well as Amoongus. Uh, something I didn't notice, or something I didn't note in the previous moveset or in the general breakdown, uh, was the fact that this thing is Dark type, making it immune to Prankster moves, which is the one thing that like Arcanine doesn't have. Um, yeah, so like if you get taunted as Arcanine, you can't go for like opposing taunts, helping hands, or uh, will-o'-wisps, where this guy doesn't care about uh, prankster taunt, which is usually the most common form of taunt. I'm not sure how it's going to end up being this gen, since our prankster taunt mons are pretty limited. It's like Grimmsnarl and Murkrow pretty much, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, and the final moveset is going to be a very fun one, one that I actually might end up using. Uh, this is going to be Choice Band, Guard Dog, and Mabostiff. So normally with a choice band, you'd be scared of Intimidate because it's just going to negate your attack boost and then make it so you're just like a regular attacker. Uh, but with Guard Dog, you just get plus one, plus one. So because they're two separate boosts, um, the choice band on top of plus one attack, that's 1.5 times 1.5, which I believe is 2.25 times multiplier on your moves. Uh, and that is going to make all of these things hurt. So of course, we're running Crunch as our main stab, Play Rough, and we have sort of a Bolt Beam coverage thing going on with Wild Charge Ice Fang. We're running just 4 HP. 252 attack 252 speed with a jolly nature because we want to outspeed as many things as possible with this guy uh, as for like helpful partners for this set i would say indeedy isn't that bad uh, it blocks fake out with psychic terrain and you also have the option to follow me or helping hand one of your attacks like you're going to be dealing major damage with this guy but yeah honestly there isn't too much to say about Mabostiff. i find it kind of underwhelming but it is a really cute pokemon and i think it's probably going to find a place in uh, a couple of teams. Definitely not a top tier. I would say Arcanine's uh, better in most of the rules, but as far as offensive Pokemon go, this thing does outclass Arcanine. I'll give it that. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Comment what Pokemon you want me to take a look at next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.